everyone. So it's Valentine's Day. I'm going to start at the beginning of my own love journey, if you like, and share with you a lovely poem about my first love. And it's simply entitled, If you fall in love with a lion, you need to be a quick runner. My first love was John Lyon, but he had no love for me. I profess my love for him daily. I thought that would be key. But I was fixed, determined, that he'd get down on one knee. I offered him my heart, I offered him a kiss, but he fancied my mate, Marie. So I chased him round the playground and I chased him round the tree. My lips were ready, puckered up, but all he did was flee. So one day I plucked up courage saying, John, will you marry me? He said, I'm not ready yet to settle down. After all, I'm only three. So that was the first attempt at getting married. Uh, but moving on quickly. Um, to let's fast forward to present day. And I think you'll all agree that it's, it's, it's so much harder to meet someone these days, especially as we can't even get within two metres of them. I'll play Kiss Chase. It's hard. You see, the clubs are all shut, so there's no meat market. Not even one pub open. Don't get me started. The bars are shut, cafes and coffee shop. So I'm eyeing up the fellas in my local co-op. There's only one place to go, and that's Tinder. I might meet Mr Darcy, like my neighbour did, Linda. She met a nice guy on there. He was pretty hot. He came from Scunthorpe and his name was Scott. They stayed up all night. All they did was chatter. Dreaming of a future, discussing things that matter. He even told Linda that he had a yacht and he knew where to find the elusive cheese spot. Turns out Scott was lying. He owned Diddly Squat. There'd be no trip to Vegas for their marriage gunshot. Rich man or a dickhead? He was the latter. All he could offer was sausage and batter. Oh, who am I kidding? They're all lying shit. I can't waste my time on cheating little gits. I'd say goodbye to love. I'll see you later. I won't be coming back like a friggin' Terminator. I'll delete the profile. Can't take the flat. I will not be saying... I'll be back. So, moving on. So, we spoke earlier about our perfect dates and as you see uh, I've given up um, so my perfect date would actually be uh, with my mate and so I've written a couple of verses to show you what we'd actually do on our mate date and it's simply called my perfect mate date what would be your perfect date mine would be a Saturday with me mate there'd be no worries no dilemma because I'd call on my mate her name is Emma. We'd meet at Byron Bay for brunch, then Bora Bora for late lunch. Drink a cocktail or two, three, four. And then we'd drink a couple more. And probably go for a kebab, a vegan kebab. And whilst we sup on liquids green, the biggest bowl you've ever seen, brimming with pickled onion space raiders. We'd nibble whilst playing space invaders. We'd chat about the things we'd seen, laughing at celebs in Heat magazine, no whingy kids or nagging spouse. We'd sing and laugh and talk in scouse. Can I have a daiquiri, please? Then dream about that Colin Firth. I wonder if he's down to earth. We'd eat chocolate frogs on the Hogwarts Express, then dance with Krista Berg in a bright red dress, cheek to cheek. I'd eat Nutella and French fancies, smell the coffee, pick the pansies. Then it's off to bed because I have a hunch. I'll dream about my Sunday lunch. Extra Yorkshire's, please. So that would be my perfect mate date. And uh, happy Galentine, Emma. Thanks for the card. We've got a card here. Thank you for my card. Great. Uh, so I'm going to finish now quickly with a little ditty. Because there has been someone, there has been someone actually in lockdown, and I actually developed a little crush, little crush on. 
So I've wrote him a little ditty and here it is. It's simply entitled, A Little Ditty for My Crush, Chris Whitty. There was a young man named Chris Whitty, neither handsome nor snazzy nor pretty. But when he says, next slide, please, I just want a big squeeze and hope one day he'll play with my kitty. Thank you very much. Good night.